Hi everyone, I'm really excited for today's tutorial. We're gonna learn how to trace our face using Keynote. Okay, so the first step is getting to your camera app. So you need to find the camera app and here I am, hi. Uh, we're gonna take photos on the camera app. Uh, I've got the grid lines here to help me thinking of rule of thirds where I line, line up and uh, we're gonna look at the camera there. You can see the camera lens. So I'm looking at you, which means I'm looking at my camera lens. I'm lining up my image first, checking I can see my whole head and look at the camera. Good, I take a couple. Oh, I might just, yeah, well, that's a good face. I might just take, oh, that was a good face. <laughs> so we'll take a couple and then we can edit them and see which ones we like for this project. Open up Keynote and you need to create a presentation. So you can open up the Keynote app and you need to create presentation. See the first blue plus sign? And then all of these options, we want a white presentation. So you can see the second one there's white and you click on it and then you'll get your first slide. So we don't want these text boxes. So we're gonna click and delete both of these text boxes so that we're ready to start adding our photo. So you need to go to the top right corner and there's all your tools. We're gonna to add, so click the plus sign there and we're gonna add photo. So it's the first option at the top there. Then what you can see is inside your albums, you can click recent or selfies, you'll find the photos that you've taken. And I've got lots of selfies and lots of different things on my iPad. But you can see I took all those funny photos and I'm gonna choose the best one. I might wanna tap a few. If I don't like it, I can click back on it and delete it uh, until I'm happy with the, the option for my drawing today. Once I've chosen the image, I need to go back to the top and add a drawing. It's the second bottom option. And this is where you get your markup tools. You can see at the bottom here, I'm toggling through the different tools. Um, I'm gonna just test some of these so you can click on them. When you click on it, you get width options on the tool. So how fat the lines are that you draw or how thin they are. You can also change the opacity, um, which means how strong and dark the lines are, or make them a little bit more transparent so that they're softer. And this is really nice when you draw. And we're just gonna do a black line drawing, imagining that we have a lead pencil. So you can test some of those options down the bottom by just drawing on them randomly, um, test the lines test the crayon tool, you can see that they're textured differently too, just like if you actually picked up a crayon. At the bottom left corner, you can undo any lines you make or redo them. Can you see at the bottom there, the little arrows, the back and forth? So I'm going to maybe test my crayon. Nope, I'm gonna choose a pencil. I think this will look best for our drawing and really suit the final artwork that we're gonna create over the next few lessons. So choose the width of my pencil. I can actually zoom in on my face. This is really helpful when I draw with my finger. I don't have a stylus today. I'm not using my Apple pencil, I'm using my finger. So you need to get up close and personal as you trace around the invisible lines of your body and your face. So here I go, you can see it's like a little snake, isn't it? Going around the features of my head really careful down past my neck there and over the shoulder and you can just see I might speed this up a little bit so you can see me as I edit the lines but there's not just one headline is there you've got your outer hairline and also your face line uh, it'll be really important that to zoom in when I actually trace around my eyes, all those little lashes and the, and the pupil is, is very detailed. Imagine trying to trace around every tooth in my mouth. So let's see how I go. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I zoom in as close as I can uh, and I can actually change the width of the line I use to really thin for lashes, even thinner for the eyes. Um, I also want to change the uh, how opaque or transparent my lines are for some of my, my wrinkly smiley lines. I don't want them to be too dark uh, as my eyes so I can make them a bit lighter and that gives a more natural effect. So you can play around with those tools to see how best you can trace 
your face to look as real as it can be. So now you can click done at the top right corner and what you don't see right now is that there's two layers. You've got your lines and your photo. So I'll just show you that. So you can click on either of these two things. I'm holding now the object and I'm just going to press back so it lines up again and the photo as I click on it and move it around and I press back so it's lined up. What I want to show you is how we can change the opacity of the photo. So right now I've clicked on the object which is the lines and that's changing how strong those lines are. But let's click on the photo and change the opacity of the photo. I'm doing that with the brush tool at the very top right area. Can you see that? So I can totally take the photo away but the photo is still there but I can lighten the image as I trace as well. This can really help me as I go back into the drawing tool. So I can add drawing and then I can continue where I left off. I wanted to add a sleeve. I want to detail my shirt. Uh, I'm just focusing on my body, none of the background, no other features, just me. So you can go back and keep editing, changing the width and thickness of lines. Um, adding you know lots of details to make your image look amazing and what about the hair I'm going to zoom in I'm going to thin my lines out and start to add lots of little lines to make the hair look real uh, what I'm deciding to do is follow the shape of my hairlines uh, some are wavy some are slanting down some lines then turn upwards uh, so you can see I, I changed the direction of the lines I draw with my finger to match my hair. Of course this is going to take you lots of time but that's what we do as artists. We really want to create the texture and the lines and the tone and the shading to make our image look really real and that's what makes art look amazing. I even went so far as to shade in my eyes. I didn't use uh, a strong black opacity. I, I, us I used a really um, a lighter medium kind of transparency. So you can see there that the eyes look a bit colored in. Now that we're happy with that, I'm going to press done and go to the paintbrush tool at the top so that I can click on the photo and toggle around with the opacity uh, percentage there that will take my photo away and let me see my lines. I'm really happy with that. What do you think? So now we need to save it as an image in our photos. So at the top right corner, can you see the little circle with the three dots in it? That's your options tool. So click on that and we have export as the second option. And then what you need to do is see images and you can click on that. After you do that, this little option will pop up and we need to make sure that we have selected the JPEG high quality and then we can click export. The next option that's going to come up after it loads is the share option and this allows us to save it in photos. So you click on share and you click save image. And when you save that image, it should be now in your photos app. So we can check that. So let's see if that worked. So I go into photos and boom, there's my image. Hooray. Good luck. You can submit it to Google Classroom now.